Welcome to the Tilium MarTech Challenge. Today we'll be covering integrating and activating online and offline data in real time. By way of introduction, my name's Kieran Smith. I'm a Senior Solutions Consultant here at Tilium. Now, as any organization with an online and offline channel, using that data and integrating it online and offline is very hard. Executing campaigns in real time based on those behaviors is even harder. Using Tilium, the solution that we'll propose today is a purchase in store where we capture the email address at the point of sale to send a transactional receipt. We'll push the transactional data via our API into Tilium Universal Data Hub. Based on that data, we'll recalculate and enrich the visitor profile, applying different visitor badges on that behavior to trigger certain actions. Those actions that we'll perform in real time are to trigger a transactional event in Google Analytics, to subscribe the customer to a list in MailChimp, to remove the user from a specific Facebook custom audience targeting cart abandoners, and to move them into a new Facebook custom audience targeting offline purchases. The journey starts with a cart abandonment on desktop. We then email and display retarget that customer who decides to purchase in a physical store. Based on that transaction, we sync all the point of sale data with the online profile in Tilium Universal Data Hub, applying the following badges. So we now know they buy offline, we've recalculated their lifetime value of over $1,000, they're a big spender, and we have their email address. We use that data to update Google Analytics, add them to an offline purchaser list in email, and to remove and modify campaigns that we're currently running for that customer. The demo that we'll highlight today will cover this part of the journey, and we'll use a tool called Postman to push the data via an API into Telium, Google Analytics for real-time event tracking, uh, MailChimp for email marketing, and Facebook custom audiences for the campaigns. Telium Universal Data Hub is collecting all the events from your web, your offline, any data source that you are interested in sending in, we'll collect it. We use that event level data to create different badges or counters or characteristics about that visitor that are important to our business. The big spender badge is being applied to someone whose lifetime value is equal to or greater than $1,000. We're applying a buyer's offline badge to anyone where the purchase location is set to offline. And we're flagging anyone who has an email address so that we can use that for all the different technology that we want to send our visitors to. We're using different badges to create audiences. And the audience specifically for today is an offline purchaser who's a big spender. That is assigned when the badge equals buyers offline is assigned. When they have an email address and when the badge big spender is assigned. So those three different conditions are met, that person joins that audience. We use that data to pass them into one of our pre-existing connectors that we have available in the marketplace. I've gone and set up three today, which are Facebook, MailChimp and Google Analytics. The Google Analytics is streaming all offline transactions into events in Google Analytics. The MailChimp integration is set up to send that person into a specific list called offline big spenders. So the source is that same audience that we created earlier, the offline purchaser big spender. The target list in MailChimp is an offline big spenders. We're passing the email address and we're also targeting specific interests which are store sales and t-shirts. We can also map different fields, so first name, surname, and we're passing them into MailChimp as soon as that person joins that audience. This could be delayed if you wanted to. You could delay it until the end of their visit and delay it for a number of hours or days. But in this case, we're saying let's do this in real time. Using that same audience, we're able to remove someone from a custom audience in Facebook. So here you can see the action that I've set up is to remove them from a custom audience in Facebook. That same source, offline purchases, are being removed from card abandoners now that they've purchased. And that again is exactly at the same time when they join that audience. And the last thing is to, well, let's start targeting them in Facebook, but let's make it specific to what they've done. So this person has purchased offline, we're going to add them to a new Facebook custom audience called offline purchases. Again, all in real time. Let's see it happen. Okay, so here we're using Postman to push some transactional data from a mock point of sale into Tilium Universal Data Hub. 
This is a simple API where we're passing just a simple set of queries to a URL, including an account, a profile, a trace ID, so I can actually see it happening in real time and all the variables that are important to the transaction that we want to record. So customer data, ID, email, order data, IDs, items purchased, price, order total, and so on. Now, all we need to do here is to push this data into Telium is to click send. Before I do that, I want to show you that we have no visitors at the moment in Google Analytics. We have no subscribers in MailChimp, and we have uh, transactions that have happened in the past in Facebook. Uh, the last transaction happened in 11.11. And in Tilium Universal Data Hub, we've got a trace running. And this trace is, trace is waiting for events to happen based on that identifier that we've set up in Postman. Now jumping back into Postman, let's see it all happen. We click send, we jump back into Tilium, we wait for the event to listen to occur. Immediately, it's processed three actions from that data that's come in. So an offline purchase has been added to MailChimp. We've removed them from a custom audience in Facebook, and we've added them to a new custom audience in Facebook. Jumping across to Google, you can see here the transaction and offline order has occurred. It's streaming along nicely in real-time Google Analytics. Refreshing MailChimp, we can see now that the customer record has come into MailChimp. The email address, the first name, last name, the interest, the notes that we pass from Audience Stream are all available. And lastly, refreshing the activity in Facebook custom audiences, you can now see that that visitor has been added at 12.15, uh, one record has been added. Okay, so let's just recap on that journey. Uh, you can see that all of those events, the, the point of sale data has been synced from Postman, updated Google Analytics, customer added to MailChimp, modified campaign channels in Facebook custom audiences. I hope you've enjoyed listening today. If you have your own challenge, please submit it through at tilliumcom forward slash challenge.